Hey everybody, this is Chad with Anchor Point Films. I'm here doing a quick review on the Modula 9 from Edelkrone. I've been waiting to see someone put up a review and I think a bunch of people are waiting for Small HD to sell theirs out so they can get the better price over with Edelkrone. Uh, I didn't have time. I have to be doing a shoot real soon and so I needed to get something and um, now that the prices went down it's still I ended up going with the Modula 9 and uh, just been able to mess around with it, put a, put a couple, uh, well, a few cameras on it just to see how it works, see how things work out. So far, I like it. Um, I'll give you some of the benefits and some of the negatives as I look it over. Right now, the setup I have is the Panasonic AF100. I have a Sennheiser mic in the top hot shoe, and then the front hot shoe hooks on the... Um, a small HD 5 inch monitor and the setup is great I think uh, these the guys over at Edelkrone really thought things through I like the setup these are you know the extendable handles I kind of put them in a you know small easy to grab onto setting I kind of like that but you can you know bring them down you can do all kinds of different things with it give you an idea right now this is the double shoulder pad obviously it comes together so you can just have it uh, on one shoulder. I'll pull it off for a minute and just so you can see how everything works here. Alright. Here is the single shoulder if I just have it hooked on one shoulder. Uh, right now, I, if you notice, I don't have the back weights on, the uh, nice silver looking weights. Honestly, for me, even with this setup, I think the weights, they do give a little bit better balance but they're heavy. I mean, literally the whole setup gets really, really heavy with the weights on it. You can just put one, it makes it a little bit easier, um, you know, or you can choose to, you know, do the double shoulder and it does then get a little bit nicer. But honestly, I think with the double shoulder after, a, you know, a real short time, your, your shoulders are going to be really pressed down. I think my thought is, is that for most people, the Modula 9 is probably overkill. You could just go down and have the even the Modula 5, just with the little tiny shoulder pad, I think that would be kind of a great setup. Right now, I, you know, when I was looking at the setup, I was thinking, man, maybe the maybe the monitor is going to be too close. But I, I really actually, it's it's a good distance. It's a good distance away from your face. Um, you know, you can see it well at that point. It doesn't feel like you're straining your eyes to look at it. I like that. The nice, the hot shoe for the audio, you can get the you know, extra hot shoes, obviously they get, they're kind of super expensive for some little tiny hot shoes, something like 130 bucks for three of them. Um, but, or you can, you know, you, there's obviously many different things you, you can do. I mean, right now I have it set up real big to, to fit something like the F100. You could, you know, fit e you know, the EX1, you could do HVX200 and any of these cameras would easily fit in this kind of a setup right here. Uh, but you could do something like the, you know, I also have the couple of Panasonic GH2s that I shoot with. I've set that up in here. Works great, obviously. It's lighter at that point. Overall, I really do like it. I'll give you an idea of the double shoulder. You just kind of... Unwind it, and... Now, obviously, you know, you can see how they set up on the shoulders. Like I said, if if the weights are on, the little silver weights that come with it, it ends up being quite heavy. It does feel more balanced. You do have a nice balance at that point. You know, like I said, you can put your arms, you know, further down. You can change the handles to move them all around. At, my thought is if I had the opportunity to try, you know, you know, all the different modular series, you know, from one to nine, I potentially would go with maybe five or seven. For me, the extra, you know, 600 bucks you're going to end up paying for the modular nine. For some, it might be worth it. Overall, I think for me, it would just be overkill. I think it would almost be too heavy and make it kind of difficult to hold on to all the time. So my thought is something like, I, I think it's an amazing price for the modular five, something like $800. I think that would be a really good price for a DSLR rig that I think a lot of people could get into rather than, you know, spending fifteen, two thousand, you know, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars on something like this. So this is the general overview. My wife, she tries it out. She 
runs around. We travel all around. She shoots with me. We shoot documentaries. Um, shot our last our last documentary on our website, uh, episode six, uh, almost totally with Panasonic GH2s. I really I really like the GH2. But one of the things my wife noticed when she put the camera on, you know, the setup here on her back, she has long hair and it kind of pinches her hair. So that can be something that, I mean, something to think about if you're a long haired guy, obviously you might be going through some pain or if you're a girl going to be shooting with this, something to think about, maybe putting your hair, I don't know, in a bun, whatever, whatever you want to do. But it's honestly kind of hard to have your hair hanging over the back. Uh, but overall, I think it's a great setup. Very strong, very tough. Uh, everything on it just, I mean, these guys really thought things through. Extremely durable. I hear, heard them say something like, uh, I don't know, military grade. And I really believe that when you when you put this thing on, you realize, man, that is a solid setup. You just got to make sure everything's, you know, wrenched on real tight. Every, every one of the little knobs is tight. And once you got that, it's a really solid setup. So, um, you know, I know some people are just waiting till the prices finally go down, but for those of us who couldn't, we couldn't wait, but so I paid the extra hundred bucks, but overall, I think it's worth it. But like I said, for most people, I think probably 90% of people, I think a lighter rig would be, I think you'd be actually much happier rather than thinking, man, should I, should I go all the way up? I would suggest stick with something like the Modula 5. I think it'd be a, a lighter, easier way to go. So that's the general overview. Uh, you can check out our website at anchorpointfilms.com. Like I said, our last documentary was shot on the GH2, so you can um, see how that goes. Thanks a lot for watching.